Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerichi and this is the Nerichi Show. Even though I try so hard to smile, I'm not really feeling too good. But I just have to do this intro. So how are you guys doing? If this is your first time of being on my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you'll be getting more of my videos. If this is not your first time, you're welcome back. So today I'll be doing something very, very interesting. I wouldn't be the one talking in this video, which I'm so excited because I really don't have the strength. And for the first time, I'll be resting while others will take over my channel. So today, it's a takeover day. Um, this video is in collaboration with the Balo Twins. Today, we'll be doing a collaboration. She'll be taking over my channel while I will be taking over her channel. So today, we'll be teaching you guys how to speak Yoruba. <laughs> So I'll teach you guys how to speak your rat. Trust me, wait, 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 wait. I wouldn't be the one doing that because I can't even speak your rat to save my life. I mean, what's the only word? There's a word I know in your but The only word I know in your rat is um um what is this word? What is this word? Um moti motije moti jam. I think that is have you eaten? I think while I was in camp. I had a friend that literally wanted to teach me how to speak that, but I mean, we were probably too hard. So today, I'm bringing in the Balo Twins on this channel to teach you guys how to speak Yoruba, and I hope you guys would enjoy it. And when you're done watching this video, please go back to their channel and watch mine because I um, I taught her channel, I taught her people how to speak Igbo while she taught mine, or while she would be teaching mine how to speak Yoruba. So as I said, it's a collaboration. Don't forget to subscribe to their channel, check their channel, and you know, drop your comment because I would really, really, really appreciate it if you guys show them some love. Uh, they'll be teaching you guys the few basic words and sentences in Yoruba. The basis before you learn Yoruba, you have to start with the basis, right? So ranging from the greetings, the day-to-day -day words you usually use, like on the daily. So they will be teaching you guys. And the best thing about this is that they are twins. Oh my God, you all know how I love twins right so they are beautiful set of twins is it set of twins yeah they are the balo twins uh, I don't know if they are identical we are going to find out so please treat them nicely okay over to them hi guys my name is Ty my name is Kenny and, and we're, we're the balo twins we want to say a huge thank you to Noya for allowing us to be on her channel so today we're going to be teaching you guys how to speak Yoruba and bear in mind we're not really the best at speaking your well, you're just gonna try. So we're gonna be teaching guys the basics, and we hope you enjoy this video and actually gain something. So let's get into the video. We're going to start off with greetings in Yoruba. Now in Yoruba, you know we have like this whole respect culture going on. So when you're like saying certain things to elders and to you know the youth, it's going to be a little different. Okay, so the first phrase on our list is "How are you?" The literal translation for "How are you?" in Yoruba is "Baoni." Baoni, not Baoni. Baoni is like, yeah, how are you? Like, how are things going? That's the literal translation. So the next one is good morning. Morning is aro, and then afternoon is oso, and then night is ale. So when you want to say good morning, good afternoon, good night, you say karo, kason, kale. But in Yoruba, if you're talking to more than one person, you use e, and if you're talking to an elder, you use e. So you say e karo, or e kason, or e kale. But if you're just talking to like your mates or your colleagues, you don't have to use the respect. And for good night, because a color is different to good night. Like good evening is different from good night. So good night is odaro, as in until, until the morning. Yeah. We already said that aro is morning. It's pretty simple so far, isn't it? Like your bar is not that complicated. When you're introducing yourself to a person, I want to say my name is. You would say oruko mini, oruko meaning my name, ni. Is. So you know, like we me. said before, that me is me, myself, yeah, I. So, Orukomi, my name, ni is Orukomi, ni, Thai. Orukomi, ni, Kende. So if you want to ask somebody what their name is, you say, Kini Orukoe, like, what is your name? But if you want to, you know, sound more like a native, you just say, Kilo Orukoe. And you know, instead of the ni, there's an L. It's Kilorukoe, not a Kini Orukoe. So that's it for the greetings. We're now going on to the normal conversation. And to start off, we're going to talk about how to like respond to Yoruba people if you don't understand what's going on or what they're saying, whether it's in Yoruba or in English. So if you want to ask the meaning of something, you say Kini Tumoye, as in like, what is the meaning of that? But if you want to like sound a bit like a native or like you already know the language, just be like, it's more like meaning. What's that supposed to mean? Another thing you can say if you don't understand what somebody is saying is Koyemi. Which is basically, I don't understand. 
Koye me like Koye is to like to understand. Koye. Me is me, and then Ko is like like to not. It's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's word, a negation. Ko is a negation of like the phrase. So if you want to say like um, it, I understand, you say Oye me like that thing. Oh yeah, understand me like. It's <laughs> it's understand it's, it's understand it like it's understand it by me. Yeah. But together it I understand. Now another thing to say if like maybe a Yoruba person asks you something in Yoruba, you just completely don't understand what's going on. You just be like, I don't know. So you can just say me or more. In this case, me also means I Yeah, me. like me is basically I, me, myself. Anything to do with the person that is speaking, the first person, that is what me is. In some like Yoruba dialects, they just say me more. Like yeah. they don't have to say the O. But the thing is, if you want to say me more, you have to say it correctly because another word in Yoruba language is me more, which means Holy Spirit or go- Holy Ghost. So this is also another common phrase. So please, is Jo. Oh, like if you really want somebody to do something and you know that they don't want to do it, you just, just be like, you just be like. Job, I'm shaking it. Job, job, job. Just like that's. And that's put, the head, yeah, yeah, put the head down with it. Yeah, yeah. Put the head. So yeah, that's Make how you say picture. please. And then the next phase really helps to settle like tension in a room, or if you accidentally piss somebody off, and that phrase is, "Emabim," which just means sorry. I know. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. So yeah, sorry. It's just "emabim." And that eh, like we said before, is for respect or for plural. So if you're talking to your mates or your colleagues, you just be like mad being. Mad like don't don't be angry. So the next phrase that we're going to be talking about are phrases that you use in the market. The first phrase is how much is this, which translates to a low lele, a low, which is how much lele is this. Simple. Or Elo. like. Hello Nikini, like how much is this thing? Whichever one's easier for you to say. Or you can just say like the thing itself. Like, let's say tom- you want to buy tomatoes now, you could you'd be like you can just say hello ni tomato. So if you want to say how much is like everything, yeah, you just like hello ni bogue, like everything. Bogue means everything. So hello ni bogue. The next phrase for the marketplace is used for pricing. So when you want to say what's the last price of this product, you say hello ni, which is we already said how much. Jale as in last like, price. Yeah. So those are the basic phrases that we've come up with to help you guys kind of ease into the language, into the Yoruba language. And yeah, share some love onto this video because Nonya really did a huge thing for letting us collab with her. Thank you so, so much. So show her really some love. Like the video, share with other people that you think might need it. And then check out her takeover on our channel where she teaches our viewers how to speak people. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice life. Salam. Okay guys, so tell me, that was the end of this video. I actually watched it you guys because I had to learn, I mean I wanted to learn how to speak this year, but I've been in this town for like two years now, getting to two years now and I can't even speak here about to save my life. Oh my god, they're gonna kidnap you one day here. No, nobody's gonna kidnap me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys learned something too. And by the way, those twins, I love their accents. They really, truly know how to speak so well. And I was smiling all through this, all through the video. And yeah, guys, tell me what you think. Tell me if you picked anyone. I mean, I, I bet you guys have learned something. And if you want to see them again in my channel, please kindly drop it in the comment section. And um, I would invite them and we would probably go to round two and as I said this was a collaboration so please do well to go check their channel subscribe to the channel show them love show them love support them because I mean that is one of the things we do collaborations for so that we can support each other and yeah if you also understood whatever they said I mean if you're Yoruba and you're watching this video please kindly drop a comment say hi let's identify ourselves and if you're evil like me and you didn't know what they were talking about <laughs> please kindly drop hi in the comment section let's identify ourselves i mean i mean what is the essence of this video if we don't identify ourselves at the end and guys don't forget i'll submit the video for them which i think i'm going to post on my channel too because i haven't made a video 
um, teaching guys how to speak Igbo. So when I made that video, it was actually really, really fun. So um, even though they're going to put this up on their channel, please go and watch it. One of these is I'm also going to put it over here on my channel to teach you guys how to speak Igbo 101. So I hope you guys enjoy this video because I tot tot totally did enjoy this video. And don't forget to drop your comments, like, and subscribe till I come your way next time. Bye.